you welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is ria and i'm a lifestyle and immigration content creator living in dublin ireland i'm not even going to introduce myself too much you guys can already see that we have a guest today on this channel i'm very very excited finally finally i do have a nurse with me that's going to be answering all your boiling questions like every question that you want to know today she's going to be answering her name is nurse ola i'm so happy i'm so delighted that you're on this channel i'm just going to give her the floor to introduce herself okay hi guys <laughs> I would like to copy you now. Okay, hi, uh, hi everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. My name is Ola Nyinka Aremu. I'm originally from Nigeria and people call me Nos Coachella. So I do a lot of coaching, mentoring. So that's where the name is. So feel free to call me Nos Coach Ola or Nos Ola. So um yeah, where do I start from? I'm a registered nurse, Irish yeah. queen. Um mm -hmm. registered nurse in Nigeria, midwife, public health nurse, yeah that. But you know, just here in Ireland, I'm registered nurse. I work as a clinical nurse manager, um, patient flow, discharge coordinator, anyways, with the HSE at the moment. So it's been a journey. Yeah. Um yeah been here for five years county now so okay no let's that. just let's let's start already you already started the first question i have for you did you come to ireland via the nursing route like yeah is that how you came to ireland or maybe it's through school mm -hmm. or yeah no i came in through the work permit so i came in through the work route so straight down from to the nursing home from nigeria to work so I was on a work visa, you know, initially, but now like I don't need a visa to work anymore anyways. Mm. So that's how it got in. Okay. So can you give us like your whole like, background story, just a bit of background um, story as to how you got the job, your application, everything, just the whole experience mm. till when you came to Ireland? Yeah. Okay. I will try to be very brief about it. Yeah. yeah I love talking about this journey because it was a life changing, you know, story, you know, for me. Mm. Uh, so like I said, I'm a registered nurse in Nigeria, midwife, public health nurse. I was actually working as a nurse tutor in the school of nursing before I left Nigeria. So I worked there for four years. Yeah. So, but, you know, post university, I've always wanted to, you know, travel out basically for my master's. So I've always been like applying to schools. I think I go to three, about three admissions, you know, everything was fine, but for two for UK and the Ruskin and I think Oster University. But one thing or the other, you know, life happens, marriage, pregnancy. So I couldn't really take, make those moves. And the last one that I actually was, I would say was a ginger, you know, that I was really angry, like I need to go out. So I got admission to uh in university of Illinois in us mm -hmm. everything was sorted i had my ITS just because i wanted to travel out for study you know you have to do ITS. Yeah, yeah and for for us it was academic that was required mm -hmm. the previous one i had was general you know higher tiers general so and i had all my scores you know eight eight point five mm -hmm. at first i'm always like like that no extra <laughs> coaching yeah i just did that so but they denied me us visa mm -hmm. so i couldn't go to the yes but i had my ILTS, it was still valid so yeah one of my colleagues and no, Saddam's knew I was, you know, always trying to mm -hmm. do something to go out. So he just yeah. shared this opportunity with me, like this this particular um kind of agency. Mm -hmm. He's not sure. He wasn't even trying himself. Like he said, yeah. I know that you you have your ILCS. And yes. I saw this. I think it would be good if you give it a try. I was like, hey, scammers. They are coming. <laughs> I don't want, I don't have money. He said, No, no, it's free. I just try. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So I sent my CV to the email. And before you know it, called for an interview. So I, it was a Skype interview. And I had to travel to Lagos to the office of that agency, like an agency here in, there in Nigeria, recruiting yeah. for another agency in Ireland. So, okay. so the Skype interview, wore my suit, got a new suit. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, so, Lagos. like it was just let me just give it a try yeah oh you both had to interview i was like uh-uh so you like all these are you both speaking so before i got yeah. back with trouble they sent a confirmation job offer before i nice. got back nice. so it was happening so fast i said yeah. okay now let's just when something is happening fast maybe they will still ask for money <laughs> yeah, <me> exactly <laughs> you know so along the line yeah everything was just happening we started the registration process mm -hmm. it took a bit of time i think about a few months you know paperwork here and there transcripts mm -hmm. yeah but i just kept at it even though i was doing my masters mm -hmm. in all so i was just doing everything by the side and before mm -hmm. you know it 
visa landed in fact before visa landed let me just share this i took a very strong faith journey let me put it that way mm. because at the point the vis the flight ticket was already booked there's exam was already scheduled but no visa so but i just kept faith you know and then eventually mm. the visa came and july 18th or 17th thereabouts specifically yeah. i made the move oh. so how yeah. long did you like i'm so like you know it's such a i'm so happy for you honestly congratulations because that's Thank such you. a very bold move honestly yeah and uh, it worked like it was something we were just even trying we're not even sure if it was going to work and like the speed i wasn't everything. sure yeah how long, how long sure. did everything take like how many months did everything take so from when you were say, uh it was less than six months hmm. yeah it was less than six months because I think there was a the major there was a major delay, not major, was about my documents, you know, yeah. transcripts. They had to ask for more information and they have mm -hmm. to and then it was just Korea. So you send a Korea, you wait for them to receive it before they acknowledge mm -hmm. it, they review. So it was less than six months to be honest. Um okay. The interview up to mm -hmm. the registration with the nursing midwifery board of Ireland here, and then mm -hmm. booking of the exam, you know, getting the flight and waiting for the visa. So the visa, because they had to wait for all the paperwork, it was just, yeah, but yeah. I said it was less than six months. Okay, that's really good. Well done. Congrats. Yeah. That's honestly good. That's really good. And I have this particular question. I keep on, like, people keep on asking that, do you need IELTS, you know, to come to Ireland as mm -hmm. a nurse? Mm -hmm. so I want okay. to know, is there, like, a particular exam, like, you need the IELTS for, or it's just for your visa application, if you're looking to migrate to Ireland as a nurse? Okay, so basically for you to register with the Nursing and Midwifery Board of Ireland mm -hmm. you need an English proficiency testing so okay. it's part of the requirement especially for those that come from non-English speaking so to say you know technically even though we know Nigeria uh yeah. most of them can be their English speaking but mm -hmm. you know according to their category we hope that yeah. this will be changed you know in the nearest future I believe NMC uh in the UK is making some revisions yeah uh but for now we are still classified as non-english speaking, speaking. So, yeah. so for countries like that you have to have what they call english language proficiency testing so ielts is an, is an option the second option is the oet which is the occupational english testing mm -hmm. so that's recently started i think the last five years or so so like an alternative to ielts for people struggling with ielts so they can yeah. take that uh it's not just for nurses it's for all healthcare professionals as well so it is a major requirement even though you don't need to have the results at hand before you can start the process okay or like before so before ielts is the first thing everybody wants to know but now i think yeah. um nmbi has you know updated their criteria so you don't need to have it immediately but you definitely will require it to register okay so yeah and is there like is a, a band score that is needed for that so the ielts band score overall band score is seven, seven so okay. yes yeah, seven and you can have minimum of 6.5 in only one module so you have listening reading speaking and writing okay yeah so the overall had to be seven and if you mm -hmm. have 6.5 in in any one of the module yeah you know so you can you can use that either listening reading or speaking whichever yeah. one but your overall has to be seven it has to be seven you understand? Oh. so you can't have two 6.5 only one 6.5 only one you know, one 6.5 so maybe that means one has to be like 7.5 yeah seven seven yes. 6.5 for you to have seven that's the minimum yeah. you understand yeah. okay and then for oet the same way uh, so oet uses alphabets like a b c you know so you should have three minimum of three b mm -hmm. and then only one c plus so they have a way to grade it so i think i've done a video of, of that as well on my youtube channel i can send you the link you know mm -hmm. to know the difference between high lts and oet and why you can choose one or the other so because people just say why i'm struggling with ielts so oet is, yeah. is another alternative and a very like i'm let me say i'm promoting oet even though it's more expensive but yeah. for nurses there are more advantages to oet than ielts yeah, so ielts yeah. just test that okay just pass and go just test your grammar but oet will also look at your healthcare communication skill okay you know and it's something you do every day as a nurse already so mm -hmm. yeah. you just go along with it so it's more easier for me mm -hmm. to pass and people you know based on even testimonies and feedback yeah. it's more easier but it's more expensive 
So again, I'll send the link so people can check out mm. for the difference. Thank you. Guys, I also mentioned that Nurse Coach Ola is also a YouTuber. So I'm definitely going to be, you know, putting her link. I'm going to be tagging her to this video anyway. So all you have to do is just check the title. You're going to see her name. Click on it. Go to her channel. She has a lot of other videos about like her nursing journey. You can even contact her on Instagram. It's all there on her channel. Like watch her videos, subscribe to her channel, like her videos. Just tell her that I sent you. Tell her that you're coming okay. from Leah's channel. Okay. <laughs> Thank you yeah. for that. So like the no. next question, I have people that always used to ask like, okay, I'm a nurse. What's the first step? I know the first step obviously is to look for a job, right? Before you're able to start coming. I don't know if that's the first step in the nursing area or but no. normally if you're coming if you're coming you know to ireland under the work permit mm. if you want to come under the work permit the first step is to look for a job but if mm. it's not just tell us what's the first step you know someone has a nurse sometimes they say oh i don't necessarily even have to use like my nursing background i can come here to work as a healthcare assistant and maybe transition from there how do i go about it what's the first thing that i need to do yeah um say so i say for nurses mm -hmm. you don't need a job to start but definitely okay. we need a job eventually of course that's why you yeah. so there are two pathways that i am an you know let me, i'm an adult of like a preach let me put it that way study or work yeah. now why i know out of desperation people who just want to take anything and say let me just come in first you know yeah. but i always i have some core values i just say you are professional so as much as you're a professional just do it the professional way just follow your professional route and that is either you're coming through the study pathway or you're coming through the work pathway so quickly before i forget this um i'm hosting i'm organizing a boot camp it's called north mm -hmm. to island boot camp will be coming yeah. november third and fourth i don't know if i've seen it on my post so yes, <laughs> everything so i can share the link later on as yes. well but just to answer the question you can come through study you can if you have your rn maybe mm -hmm. rn is diploma nursing before in nigeria or your own country you can do a top up you know come in uh for a top up bsc and while you're doing the top up bsc or even if it is masters bsc to masters you can come in during that period you can start your registration but the most important thing is the registration it's not a job because nobody will employ somebody that is not registered yeah, you know definitely. so you won't be called for it so so you need to start the registration process first and the registration process could take up to to, you know six months one year just like oh, i said so okay uh, so some people longer depending on individual circumstances so it's getting faster now because mm -hmm. uh the nba they are all on their toes uh mm -hmm. trying to make things faster and because there is this everything is online now unlike when i did mine there was paperwork so mine i had to like make photocopies and mm -hmm. career paperwork yeah. but now you can do it online they have what they call my nmbi dot i yeah. so anybody interested you can just go on google and type www.nmbi.ie that will take you to an account you open your account mm -hmm. just like you put your profile email address password so you have a, yeah. your own account and you start filling your personal details so okay. gradually you can start uploading all the documents required again like i said i've done a video of you know documents required mm -hmm. i send you the link so you can start gathering your documents there are some that might need to be certified you know notarization mm -hmm. so you get all done and then you upload and the next thing is nmbi will assess your documents and come back to you you have seen your document so generally the response will be it's not up to irish standard so you have to do an exam or come for adaptation so it is now at that stage that you will need an employer so you can also self-sponsor so at that stage and say okay. well i don't have an employer now that will sponsor me i can sponsor okay. myself to do the exam you know so the only pathway that you can self-sponsor is the exam pathway that means you're happy to take the exam pay for your mm -hmm. exam they give you invitation to write exam okay. and with the invitation you use that to apply for visa and you come in for the exam so after your exam about two weeks or so if you pass hopefully you get your irish pin so by that okay. time you are hot cake already because you yeah. are in the country and you have a pin so jobs will be calling on you you know and yeah. all that then you can pick so that's self-sponsorship but of course it is more expensive because you have to pay for yeah, every, almost everything yourself do you know how the much beauty, it is? Uh, yeah the exam uh it's 2800 euros that's the okay. rcsi exam for nursing so it's both practical and uh, mcq computer based mm -hmm. and then you have the practical which is called like oski for the adaptation you need an employer that will mm -hmm. say i want to bring you in for six yeah. weeks so the period of the adaptation is six weeks minimum some can be extended yeah. depending on your performance you know 
So the employer needs to be able to say, I, I want to bring you in. Or if you're already in the country, you can still do the adaptation. For instance, okay. there are nurses here in Ireland that they don't have to travel down. You're already here. So you can go to the adaptation pathway and all that. So okay. that's it. That's good. Okay. There are other fees. There are other fees anyway. If you are yeah. self Again, I've done a video on self-sponsorship. <laughs> and you can <laughs> no, add fees for more details. Like how yeah. much you have to save. You know mm -hmm. what and what you have to pay for. Like you're paying mm -hmm. for the exam. Apart from that, your visa. Then you have to pay for the registration fee with the NMBI, which is about 350 yeah. euros. Very important. Mm -hmm. No employer will pay that one for you no sponsor will pay that one for you you have to pay it yourself yourself the most they can do some might be to reimburse you once you pass once you have your pain okay that was what my employer did when i came in i paid the 350 euros myself but on passing they reimbursed okay. it so since we're talking about like the companies that could probably sponsor you or maybe you get mm. a job are there like any companies or agencies that you know at the moment that would be looking to recruit foreigners nurses or like health assistance yeah you know with the with the global shortage anyways there's mm. recruitment going on to be honest like recruitment going on but i say for ireland majority of the hospitals or nothing else they already contracted their recruitment to an agency or so okay so but popular agencies that we know of again i have a video on that yes. okay yeah. <laughs> but i can just a few uh service source mm. uh service source we just type service source uh mm. cpl cpl healthcare adaptive os recruitment so those are mm. like the quickest one there are so many other ones as well but yeah. like i said again get yourself mm -hmm. ready you know yeah. and if you go out there if, if you go to indeed.com you find mm -hmm. all these agencies if you go to linkedin they are there just keep mm -hmm. following and agencies that has to do with island send them an email send multiple emails to different of course when we come back to you you know i am i've always advocated for do it yourself you know yeah. you just need the information you can do it if you need extra support you can you know of course ask but who is your friend <laughs> <laughs> it is definitely <laughs> yeah. yeah okay you know how it is like um, you're an accountant you have to maybe be ACA or ACC mm. qualified let's say if you're a lawyer you have to go to law school to certify mm. that you know you're now a lawyer in like the nursing industry are there like any other qualified courses apart from maybe getting like a BSc so so for example someone that doesn't have like a BSc or MSc and maybe wants to just delve into um, the whole nursing background what kind of courses or what recommendation would you give people in this category okay so um thank you for that i'm going to answer that in two ways first of all if you are from a non for people that are from non-nursing background and they want to delve yeah. into nursing mm -hmm. so if they're already in the country in ireland mm -hmm. they can go through what they call the mature nursing pathway so mature nursing means uh your age you know i think there's a particular age we are above 35 or so and you want to commit to nursing i think maybe 28 so then you are, they apply through the cao you know the normal cao that they do yeah so they also have to go through some exams you know do this the assessment and if they pass they will go through the course about two years or so rather than the, the old four years yeah. and so you may have to go through like three years it's just like you you are starting afresh like every other person will come from all levels that they call it or from college so you're coming through the mature nursing pathway so they will do some assessments through the cao and then you come in you do it okay. go through the course and you yeah. get your, your pin so that is true that the other way is for people that even if you are in the country or you are outside the country, you can take up some postgraduate course. So it's very rare, you know, in Ireland I'll say, but there's this one that is called um, like healthcare management course in nursing. Okay. Yeah. So I think few schools do you know that i think are cork i don't know if galway does it or angela in sligo so that people could come in so you're already in that the earth care when you're doing that you can you know once you finish up take mm -hmm. nothing start nothing so yeah just that way you've actually told us like a whole lot of things that are normally even if, you know sometimes google is your friend though but there's some information that will just be solid and you yeah. can get from someone that's already gone through like the whole process yeah. you know so like I agree. Actually, thank you yeah that, that's because you've said a lot of things that i know that even myself even if i was researching to make the video i don't think i'll be as detailed as you have been honestly like yeah yeah and again like i said i've done a couple of videos I, tr I plan yeah. to do more uh specifically uh, addressing questions but please pardon yeah. me i'm not so consistent <laughs> right here. 
<laughs> it's yeah. okay i'm sure we understand so, so like, um just to round up this video is there any advice that you would have for nurses that are looking to migrate to ireland yeah so i said the first thing i say is determination okay because the journey could be bumpy could be a little bit lengthy for some people so it's individual journey honestly and documentation can be a major issue so it's important that you get all your medical your documents checked I'm ready so if you uh, we all i offer mentorship you know when it comes to yeah. north to ireland uh with you know relocation like i said we are organizing a boot camp coming november third and fourth where everything mm -hmm. study work you know in uh, to ireland for nurses mm -hmm. so you can look out for i can share the link to to gloria Ria later yeah so very important patience determination and of course networking with other people be a go-getter you know you have to you can't afford to go offline you know yeah. you can't afford not to have data you have to be <laughs> looking for those jobs you know exactly yeah. invest this is an investment process so take it like mm -hmm. you're building your future you're planning for your future all right mm -hmm. so that's my advice and of course mm -hmm. when it comes to job please let me send a note of warning nobody should collect money to get to a job it is you know you know it is illegal in ireland yeah. you don't collect yeah. money to get somebody job so we don't do it i co-found uh synergy international nursing network and that's just a community uh say an organization where we support nurses to relocate to ireland okay and the uk okay. but i focus more on ireland because i'm in ireland i yeah. have partners in the uk as well yeah. so what we do there is to support you from start to finish so uh my mentorship our uh, program is from start to finish. It's a do it yourself. We only share information and support you, you know, along the line for you to do it. Okay. So, but getting a job, I cannot get you a job. I can only yeah. share information. Nobody should pay you, you should, should ask you to pay, pay you know, for a job. For a job. Please have that. Okay. If you you can pay for mentorship, you can pay for CV review, you can pay for somebody to put you through interview process yeah. to get you through those processes. But getting you a job, you know, be very careful because you know there are people out there that just want to explore. <laughs> All right. So that's just my brief uh but most importantly, it is possible. Just have that possibility mindset that I can achieve this, I can do this. Yeah. We have people that have you know gone through wars or even they thought it won't happen and eventually came in so yeah. self sponsorship pathway study pathway work not see home anything anything like yeah. you know you can do it it is possible just keep at it oh thank you this is very good oh i'm so happy <laughs> thank, thank you so thank much you for having so me much. oh i'm no happy thank you thank you so much for coming here like okay it means the word i'm very grateful thank you so much so you guys you've heard ash has given you every detail that you actually do need if you have any more questions please rush to her youtube channel subscribe check um her instagram as well i think the synergy yeah. to ireland yes it's also there you can follow them text them enter their dms ask the questions that you have to ask watch her videos support her like her videos as well like she also mentioned she had a boot camp coming up you know november 3rd and 4th if you know what is good for you please you have to register for it and attend ask all your burning questions mm -hmm. if there are any other questions that you know she hasn't mentioned or she hasn't been able to answer for the course of this video you can ask her you know during the boot camp great yeah. like you said network determination patience and everything like it's such a very packed video. I'm honestly grateful. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank, thank you for having me. I'm thank really, you. Ah, I, will, I will share several links so you can put the yes. links in the description uh, or in the comment section. And yeah, yeah, please pardon me. Uh, I will try to respond to everything. <laughs> yeah, please pardon. Honestly, we need to beg because it's not easy. So I honestly understand. Yeah. yeah sure. thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, thank much. You so much. No problem. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>